Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is ABM Graphics. Yes. Um, today we are just going to learn something like this in Photoshop. So there is what we call transparent text uh, uh, effects. Yes. Somehow this comes out and this one looks like a stroke. This kind of thing. You know, it's somehow simple and very very simple. You don't need to do waste much of that. So let us just do it and let's see what we can do. So first of all, I'm just going to close up uh, these things. But let me just uh, duplicate it by Control uh, G, and then I'll close up all that, and then I move it to the down here, and then over here I'm just going to do what I'm just going to delete uh, the text over there, and then I will delete this one too, and then I'll just remove it out from the group, and then I'll just um, do this. Yes, then I can have something like this. And then all of them, I'm just going to group uh, all of them together. Oh, sorry. Let me let this one go. And then I'll group all these together because I don't need it. So that we can do this. Yes. So that is what we are going to have. And then all what we need to do first of all is to type your the text that you like to use for that. So on this particular list, I'm going to use uh, super. Uh, super or supper is super okay then I can have something like this over there and then I'll move that one to the top over there and then when I move it to the top I will just try and uh, move it around to fit where I want it to to be there you get that yes. so I'm just going to move it around just like that you get that so I can decide to leave it somewhere here, that will be nice, and I can also decide to leave it somewhere here, that will be nice. So first of all, I'm just going to leave it somewhere here, and then after we finish with that, I cannot do anything that I want to do together. Yes. So first of all, then the, the, the next thing again I'm going to do is that sometimes if you want to do it and then after that you can change and change different different texts, you all what you need to do is to right click over here and then convert it to a smart object when you convert it to a smart object it is it's easy to edit and then replace on based on how you want it to be you get that yes so when you do that then you duplicate this by control g then when you duplicate it by control g then you move this one to the to the what to the to the down here you get it should be beneath the subject here the image here you get that so this one for you to understand i'm going to give it a color of red so you see this red yes that's the main distance so over this one the top here i'm going to give it a color of orange you see that over over here so what we need to do over here to get our text that transparent text effect what we need to do is to go to fx and then we are going to add a stroke to it you get that yes we're going to add a stroke to it so um let me see stroke of 15 okay let me use a stroke of 15 and see okay i think that one will be okay then i'll click okay then when you click okay this is uh let's see 80 percent has just finished like that or 90 percent has just finished like that the next thing you have, you have to do is to the field we have opacity and field so let's see the difference the opacity here if i move it to zero you see that everything is going to do what everything is going to clean up that particular super text that is uh, on top there is going to do what is going to clean up and that is not going to be the nice thing or the transfer the transparent text that we, are, that we want to do you see that so you see how i make it and it looks somehow as if you get that so the next thing again you have to do over here is that you don't have to uh, make the opacity zero, but you have to make the fill zero, just like that. You get that. So when you do that, you, as you can see, you can see that the this thing has just appeared just like that. All what we want has just appeared like that. You get that. Yes. And then on this particular distance, this is where you can now move it around on how you want it. So you just need to have to uh, hold your control and then pick this and then select uh, this one. Then when you select that one, you can move it around on just how you want it to be you get that if you want it side by side you can do that if you want it this by side you can do that all that you get that so without any much problem you get that yes so that is how a transparent text effect is uh, we do we do that particular effect in photoshop and then when you have something like this and maybe you are trying to say okay let me change the background okay you can also decide to use a background of white 
there's like you can use any background so that that fit it the shirt you can use it uh you know any of them the hair everything you get that it will look cool but let's use white so when you use white over here or well, all what we need to do over this particular this one that you need to click on then when you click on it then you try and do what you try and change the color to different color that match up with uh any color that you wish to use and then you can close it up and then save so let's see the effect over there we are just saving yes as you can see so it has changed the color of the background but the stroke still maintains you get that so this is how a transparent text effect is uh we normally do it in photoshop and it is very easy we have it's easy steps in the over here yes thank you very much for watching this is avian graphics and have a nice day bye bye